By now, the entire company was feeling the effects of the crisis, and employee morale had hit a new low. The Hamburg assembly line workers were facing the prospect of mass layoffs, due only in part to the A380's problems. In February 2007, Airbus management agreed to a major cost reduction plan that included layoffs and the sale of some facilities. The unions cried foul and vowed to protect their members' jobs. Negotiations between management and labor were heated. Our main criticism was that management made grand promises it simply doesn't intend to keep. We realize we made fairly good progress on a number of minor issues, but the major issues are still in a stalemate. There are 2,300 jobs at stake next year in Hamburg alone. That would be a serious loss. So we'll have to tackle the matters at hand and see what Airbus is planning. For instance, who do they want to do all the work? As you can see, there's plenty to go around here. Especially in Hall 242. The clock is ticking, and the deadline for delivery of the first A380 is nearing. Whole herds of white-clad quality control inspectors continually pass through the aircraft. The most important and most feared of them all is the representative from Singapore Airlines. He inspects the airplane millimeter by millimeter, inside and out. For months, he'd been following the construction of the plane step by step. Only when he's satisfied does work progress to the next level. Often, employees are ordered to make improvements. The assembly personnel fear his green post-it notes much like a student would fear a bad report card. The Singapore inspector attaches them when something doesn't meet his exacting standards. For instance, this wash basin in a business class lavatory. There's a sum mark here. Yeah. At, uh, there's some mark here which I think is a uh, little look at. Uh, there are some uh, scratches, scratch line, scratching on the surface itself. Right. Yeah. So when we're accepting a new aircraft or new product, it has to be perfect. As Sim goes, the painters arrive to put the finishing touches on the big bird. This is one of the few jobs in the process where little goes wrong. The Hamburg employees are proud of that fact. Putting the finish on an aircraft is no easy task. The lacquer is the biggest problem. In the end, the layer on the plane will be thinner than a human hair. Essentially, we have to conform to a certain weight requirement. And it takes quite a lot of precision to place a 30-meter-long nameplate correctly right down to the millimeter. Applying the lacquer to the correct thickness takes precision care. A stopwatch helps the workman calculate how much paint is used per minute. It's a way of ensuring that just the right amount is applied. On airplanes, every gram of weight counts. In all, the aircraft will get four coats. The workers wear lint-free clothing. Every fiber, every speck of dust would soon cause flecks. In all, the painting takes three weeks 